Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nelsie. I am a certified personal trainer. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Today I'm going to be talking all about hip dips. This is my most requested video. I kid you not, I get a question from you guys every single day on my Instagram asking about how you, how can I help you get rid of your hip dips? So I'm here to deliver. So I will answer most of your questions, any misconceptions that you guys might have. Let's get into the video. I have my little notebook here with everything that I wrote down in some of your questions. So I'll be looking down at my little notebook to answer you guys' questions. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we're going to be talking about five key points in this video. So it's going to be quick and simple. All right, so the first thing I do want you guys to know is that hip dips are completely normal. They are basic human anatomy. They are in our skeletal system, our bone structures. We all have them because we're, if you're watching this and you're a human, you have hip dips. I have hip dips. So we can't really do anything about our bones. So when you hear the term or the phrase, get rid of your hip dips, that that is, you can't get rid of your hip dips. I understand what they mean by saying, I will help you get rid of your hip dips. I completely understand what they mean, but some people probably don't understand what they mean by that. Basically, you cannot get rid of your hip dips. They are your bone structure, but we'll get into the video of what you can do to minimize the looks of them. Another thing is most of us, most of you watching this video, you I will put a picture on the side of what you might look like. So you might look like this and then you have these dips and some of some people might just have the small waist or curvy curvy hips so that doesn't mean that they don't have hip dips because they do it just doesn't show so it'll show up on some people more than others depending on your body fat your body type so it'll it'll show up depending on who you are okay basically some people have curvier body types some people have straight body types but we all have hip dips no matter what body type you have we have them you might be under your fat it might be under your muscles but it's there so just because someone has curvier hips and some others don't doesn't mean that they don't have them we all have them so the main thing i did want you guys to take away from this video is that most of you are on here because when you're scrolling through social media you're seeing these people with perfect bodies unrealistic perfect bodies with no hip dips small waist and you know just perfect nice breasts and everything so then you begin to start feeling bad about yourself why can't i look this way why do i have hip dips her hips are wide and curvy and then you begin to feel insecure about yourself but i'm here to tell you that 95 percent of the time those bodies aren't real okay they either did something they went to dr miami they went somewhere got their bodies done and they come on social media pretending that they worked hard for this, they got this body in the gym, when they did not. Now there's a good amount of people who are naturally born like that and kudos to them. But you shouldn't be looking at someone else and wanting to have their body. You should want to be the best version of yourself and be the be have the best, yes, be the best version of yourself. So right now the version of you could be skinny. If you're unhappy, you're skinny and you have no muscle tone, you have no muscles, no definition. You can become the best version of yourself by going to the gym and building muscle and basically building muscle. Like, I don't know why women are so scared of to build muscle, but just build muscle, okay? So now that that's out of the way, the second thing I do wanna let you guys know is that in order to minimize the looks of your hip dips, you have to train your glutes. So our glutes are made up of three muscles. We have the gluteus maximus, the gluteus medius, and the gluteus minimus. So we have to be training those muscles consistently with a proper diet. In order for you to see results and to start seeing those curvy hips that you're looking for, you will not see them if you're not working consistently on improving those areas. So in order for you to do that, you cannot just go to the gym and start doing any, any type of workout that you see someone else doing, some leg kickbacks, some squats, you can't just be doing random workouts. That is where most people mess up at. I get a lot of DMs saying, I've been working out for so long and 
I've seen no improvements on my hip dips. I've seen no improvements on my body. That's because you're not following a program. You're just doing random workouts that you see on YouTube, random workouts you see on Instagram here and there. And you're putting pieces together and calling it a workout. You're just working out. You're not training for, for a specific reason. So you guys need to develop a program so that when you have a program, you go into the gym, you know exactly what you're doing that day, you knock it out, you leave. And that is, what, that is when people lose motivation because they don't have a program to follow. They get tired of doing the same thing. They get tired of not seeing results because they wanna do it themselves and just go with the flow. You cannot go with the flow when it comes to your fitness. You have to get a program. You can create your own program. You can follow someone else's program. You can buy a program. But you have to have a program that is for that specific reason. For example, if you want big biceps, you're not going to do tons of cardio, no bicep work, squats and all of that, which are important, but you want big biceps. So you need a program that is tailored for you and your goals. So yes, you need to be training those boots. So once you've developed a program or you have a program, you will be training for hypertrophy. So hypertrophy is the ability to build muscle. So when you do that, once you're in the gym day in, day out, you're working out three days a week, three to five days a week, you are working on building up those glute muscles that you desperately need. Your glutes are the biggest muscles in your entire body. So you have to be training them because not only do, do they make your physique look even better, they help you with other compound lifts. But once you develop a program and you've gotten the hang of working out, you've gotten the hang of doing these exercises, going to the gym, whether you're working out at home or at the gym, you have to continue building yourself. You have to continue, make it a lifestyle. Don't, don't look at it as something that you have to do. Look at it as something you get to do. I get to go to the gym today. I get to move my body. I get to work out. Some people don't get that privilege. So think about it like that. So lastly, I did wanna tell you guys, since I've gotten so many questions and you guys wanted me to make an entire video about hip dips. So I have spent the last couple of months developing a program dedicated to, those, to this area, the hips. So I've worked on this program for like, I've been working on this since May. It's now September. So I've, <laughs> I've put in so much work and research into it so that I can help you guys really minimize those look of your hip dips. So you cannot get rid of the bones like the way it is, but you can definitely build muscle so you can look curvier and be the, your best self. So with this program, you get 40 plus exercises. So you'll get 40 plus glute activation exercises that you can do prior to your lift or you can do them just as a whole workout. You get tips on how to use a muscle to mind connection because you guys know how much I always say this in every single video I do about glutes or whatever it is, you have to have your muscle to mind connection intact. You cannot be working out thinking about other things. You gotta be thinking about that muscle, honey, at all times. So I go in depth on muscle to mind connection. We talk about glute activation and why you need to be activating your glutes and the purpose and how glute activation can help you with your glutes and growing them. Also, you guys get so many great tips on how to build perfect glutes and how to build the perfect hips because no one wants to look in the mirror and feel bad about themselves all the time. So I would highly recommend this program. I would highly recommend investing into it, investing into your body, doing something for yourself. Because like I said, watching videos on YouTube and doing them here and there, will not get you those results that you're looking for. You need to be following a program. So I do hope that I was able to answer you guys' questions and concerns about hip dips. I hope that I made this video short and simple and nothing, you know, just to the point. I will answer some of the clips on here so that you guys can see what I'm talking about, but this program is one of my favorites. And also, I didn't mention nutrition, but you guys know about how I feel about nutrition. When it comes to anything that you wanna do in the gym, out at home, nutrition is key. So if you're looking for a recipe book, it's got 52 high protein delicious recipes from smoothies, breakfast recipes, we have lunch, dinner, and snacks. So 
you guys i'm coming i'm going to give you guys something for every single thing so just wait in the near future you will have something for everything all right so this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next one and i just want to thank every single one of you who have made it this far in the video i want to thank you all for supporting my channel and myself and i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah.